If you have a JS code and you want to test it on a live external site, there's this powerful tool in Requestly that can help you do that in a few seconds. Hi, in this video, I'll demonstrate how to dynamically insert JavaScript into a web page using Requestly. This feature helps you to eliminate undesirable sections from a web page, introduce quick action buttons, and integrate your own JavaScript SDKs or libraries to directly test them on live sites. Now, let me quickly guide you through the process of setting up Requestly to insert scripts. To get started, download Requestly and open the application. From there, click on HTTP rules and then click on create your first rule. Select insert scripts. Click on create rule button and then specify a name for your rule. You will see options like choosing JavaScripts or CSS code and then you can choose whether you want to load the script from the URL or write the code directly in the editor. You also have a choice as to when the code should be executed. Should it be after the page load or before the page load? To see this live, let's look at a quick example. Suppose we want to execute a script on Airbnb. To do this, I can write a simple JS code. My custom script is running and the page URL contains Airbnb under the chosen rule name and save it. Now let's open Airbnb. See, the script is running before the page is loaded. Here, we can also combine multiple scripts and execute them in a sequence. For example, we can load jQuery and perform DOM manipulations using jQuery on a site. To do this, first I will enter jQuery URL. And then I will use it to perform DOM manipulation based on jQuery. To illustrate this better, here I am using jQuery to put a border around Airbnb's web page. Now when I refresh the page, the border is visible. Now this is just a basic demo. This feature can perform various functions depending on how you want to use it. Please note that there is a size limit for the code block option. For bigger scripts, you will have to create a script in the file library and then insert it using the URL option. The rules created by you are automatically stored in a private workspace. But if you want to work on rules with your colleagues, you can use the team workspace feature for collaboration. And that's it. Hope this is useful.